So welcome, let's take a look on the open project Excel synchronization. First of all, you have to download an Excel file and which you can find uh, at github slash opf slash open project excel and all you need is this file click on it just download it and you can store it wherever you want just open it and first of all you will get a message where you introduced in the basic controls like um, as uh, control b for open project synchronization options like upload download etc and press uh, control n for additional filter options um, these are not part of this video uh, as it's like an in pro feature somehow okay let's click okay and um, first of all you will get a uh, formula where you have to type all the input information you need a url so the url of your instance i decided to pick community of project um, our community edition and let's copy this url this part of the url and paste it um, additionally you need your api token you can find your token at your account my account and there's an option uh, or a category access token where you can find your API token. Just click on reset, copy, paste. And furthermore, you need your project. I decided to pick uh, our Excel sync project. You need the project identifier. That is this one, that is the identifier. You can copy it right from the URL. As well, you can find the identifier under project settings here. It is pretty important to not pick the name. That rule doesn't work due to its importance that it's unique and the project name doesn't have to be unique. So copy paste. You can set it here as default. Um, that is not necessary, but um, that's how you can um, load your default settings and not um, type it in each time you want to download a new work package list or something. So like, let's accept. So, and what you will get are four columns. These are the mandatory columns. You have update status where you can find whether an action was successful or not. You have log version. That's one thing you don't have to um, keep in mind. Um, the ID of a work package and the subject of a work package. So let's download um, some work packages um, from our project Excel sync. So what we expect are these um, work packages. I decided to create some example work packages for this video and just click on download. So, and you have all these work packages. So what is important? Important is that you have to, you will not get the exact view like here. Um, that means you have to define some additional columns columns to get these attributes as well so go to your excel and but you can define whatever you want um, first of all please delete these um, work packages that's because um, he will add the new work packages on the first empty line um, the excel doesn't delete rows automatically and that is important for reasons by the way so let's take um, this column and say, okay, we need the type, okay, and additionally we need an assignee. So, and let's download it. And now we get uh, the same worker packages and additionally um, some more information about uh, the attributes you wanted to see. So that is 
all you have to know about downloading. Let's talk about uploading. As I said before, please delete. Example work package three. And four. Uh, let's say it's a task that is in bug. Bound is assigning. Um, you have to add nothing more information. The most important part is to keep this column empty because that is how Excel knows, okay, you have you want to create a new work package. Okay. Then click upload. It has to initialize sometimes again, as we can see here, and then it happens. Okay. It was successful. You can see it in the update status. Um, and that IDs are created. Let's take on open project. So, and now we can see our work packages. So let's try to change it mm, by simply change the name, changed topic, and update again. And that is how changes are being done. Okay, so I think for the basics, these are enough. Have fun.